Hey Sharks fans, I'm here with Kapo Kakinen, seeing how he spends his off days. Today we are testing out our cooking skills in the kitchen, so let's get cooking with Kapo. Do you have a grocery list? Do you make a list when you grocery shop? If I want to make something specific, like that's when I yeah. then I I usually make a list. But sometimes yeah. I show up and then I just like whatever looks come good. Come up with yeah yeah whatever looks good. <laughs> and, what do we got on the list? That's a lot. That's a lot there. So we're making a pasta and then uh, we'll make a little burrata caprese salad for appetizer. I like the heirloom uh, tomato salad. They uh, okay. They're pretty good. Do you like stick to a color? Because I just sort of just do a variety of colors. What do you do? What's that's your? What I, that's what I usually do. Variety <laughs> okay, of colors. Yeah, like it, it usually makes the uh, dish look, you know, like nice. The pr it's all about the presentation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> These look actually pretty good. We'll need some shallots. Ooh. Okay. A couple of shallots for uh, for that salad. Nice. We're gonna need the burrata. Okay. So and then we need some eggs. Six is probably gonna Perfect. do. You check them. That's, that's a smart move. Yeah. Are we making pasta? Yep. Like you, do you normally yep. do that? I, I do it really? pretty often, yeah. That's something I, uh, when COVID started, I just, yeah. uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to, you know, learn, learn to do something yeah. like that I didn't know how to do before. And then I just bought one of these uh, pasta rollers and okay. learned how to make pasta. So nice. and now I do it all the time. Oh no, Pecorino Romano, that's what we need. Yeah. It's a sheep's milk uh, cheese. Ooh, okay. And then the, the guanciale, what it, what's different with that is uh, bacon's uh, pork belly, right? But the guanciale is like a uh, pig's cheek ah. and it's uh, cured. Okay. Again, I've never even heard of that. So this is all, this is education for me. <laughs> That's the good stuff. Yeah, this looks really good. Perfect. Add it to the cart. I feel like I'm gonna learn a lot today from you cooking. Tipo zero is, should be the right one. Zero, okay. zero, zero flour, basil. Okay. Yeah, fond the basil. Perfect. And then we need the uh, the semolina flour. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Did you check your list? Yep, I checked it. You it got should everything. Be, should be good. All right. So if you cook it for us today and it doesn't turn out good, then I'll just come back here just and get some, back, yeah. some more pasta. Yeah. I'm 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 fairly confident with that. We and we have a. We have a lot of flour and eggs, so we can, uh, we can do if I mess up the dough, I'll just make another one. <laughs> oh, I think it's gonna be great. All right, so we are here at Cultivate Kitchen with all of our ingredients that we got from Italy. So what do we got going on here? What's our first so, step? So what we're making is the pasta carbonara and then okay. the burrata uh, caprese salad uh, for like an appetizer. And I think the first thing we wanna do is we wanna get the pasta dough going. Okay, I've never made pasta in my life, so this let's is a new the, thing. Let's go for a half a cup of this. Okay. Around, some, somewhere there. I'm just eyeballing it. And then we'll do another half a cup of this. So that's... Two different types of flour. Two to different make this kinds pasta. of flour. So yeah, okay. yeah. And then two eggs. And then you just kind of start start mixing it <laughs> slowly and getting closer to the point where we just want to dig in with our hands. Okay. All right. So here we have our pasta okay. dough. Good. It's looking pretty good. Like the consistency is. You press it. It's kind of bouncing back a little bit. We're gonna make the uh, the appetizer. Perfect. All right. That should do it. These shallots. All right, we're going in with uh, some shallots. Okay. All right, a little squeeze of lemon juice in there. Uh, some sea salt. Okay. No measurements here. Um, a little bit of olive oil. Um, that's actually ready. We're oh, just mix good. these, mix these a little bit. That's what it looks like. Some tomatoes and shallots, some olive oil and lemon juice. Pretty simple. So before we're having uh, having the, the burrata, I'll just prepare um, the cheese and the, the guanciale meat for the for the pasta. And that's the good stuff. Yeah, that's the yeah, that's really good. It smells really good too. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, it does. So you want to cut the skin skin part off. And then yeah, just create your uh, pecorino cheese. Do you have a favorite kind of cheese? Everything, yeah. Well, <laughs> same with same with any food. I, I I don't think there's a cheese I don't like. Yeah, it's probably it's probably good. 
Should we just get like a spoon and just eat this like just this? Just eat this, yeah, here's, uh, here's our dinner. <laughs> dinner served. We did it. We made it, yeah. <laughs> let's just plate this, um, this appetizer first. So let's just place these tomatoes in here. And then some of that dressing. Place the burrata kind of in the middle. That's what I like to do at least. I like it. Let's just put some basil. Okay. That's some good presentation, I feel like. Doesn't look too bad. Touch of black pepper on top. Okay. I mean, look at that. That looks it's awesome. Not too bad. No, yeah. high five. Crush it. Okay, so talk to me about this because there's like so many different. I don't even know where yeah, to even yeah. go. So <laughs> we're gonna first roll it into like a sheet. Okay. Through this one, and then once you've done with the, once you got your sheet, then you roll it through either one of these shapes. You know. What do you do? I usually always go with uh, the, this one. Okay. There's many possibilities with right. this. <laughs> yeah, you know, eventually you'll have your, yeah. you kind of stretch it in between. Wow. All right, and now we go to the oh, wow. shape okay. setting yeah. uh, we want to use. Cool. And okay. here's, your, here's your pasta. So, yeah. That looks good. Here's our pasta. It's pretty good. I would eat that good. right now. Yeah. So, all right. So there we have it. And then so next we're going to make the, the carbonara sauce. So it's just the cheese, the pecorino cheese, and then okay. eggs and uh, black pepper. Okay. So, so we go in with the cheese okay. um, to a bowl. Okay. Perfect. And then just a couple of eggs. Okay. And yeah, now we're just gonna mix these together mm -hmm. until it comes like a, it creates like a thick kind of cream. So this is what you're getting. It kind of looks like scrambled eggs yeah, maybe. Yeah, it does. Uh, but it's just, it's just cheese and, and raw eggs. Okay. So yeah, there's the sauce. Awesome. So here we have our guanciale. We want to start with like a low heat. We don't want to go too crazy. Like Getting some nice color. Yeah. That's a lot of good flavor for that uh, for yeah. that sauce. All right, that's that's gonna be done. And then we're gonna go in with our uh, pasta. Okay. And so you just kind of eyeball this, or you yeah. time it, or what's your? I don't really time it, no, it's because it's fresh. Like it's it literally takes two minutes, so it's really quick. And this is probably ready now. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Now you want to make sure you don't have your burner on anymore because the pasta is hot um, and the oil is hot that you have on the pan. The cheese. Okay, so this is the cheese, cheese and the eggs. eggs. Yep. To create and, uh, the sauce. And black pepper. And then just a touch of that water. And then what you do is you just mix it. If you want to go crazy, you can just toss it a little bit. Do you practice this at home, your pan flip? Yeah, I always do this. Creates a little bit of a mess sometimes. Maybe I think I was too. I was pretty good. And yeah, there it is. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. <laughs> Here we go. Look at that. How much are we charging for this? <laughs> it's uh, it's all included on this uh, show. So yeah, here's our appetizer, uh, burrata appetizer. Cheers. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm. That's really good. That's like the perfect mix of flavors. Right, I think it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's simple, but yeah, good quality tomatoes um, yeah. and burrata. This is my favorite off days episode ever. <laughs> if this if Hopefully this isn't good. good, are we ordering pizza? Or is I it guess so. Yeah, okay, good. It looks pretty good to me, but it looks we'll really see. We'll good. see. We'll see how it tastes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Come on. Mm. This is so good. It's pretty good. Are you it's kidding me? I'm gonna eat this whole plate. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to Italy and Cultivate Kitchen for having us out today. And thanks to Capo for cooking this amazing meal. I'm gonna eat all of this here today. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next episode of Off Days. <laughs>